The Cane Corso is an awesome breed of dog. People are often attracted to Cane Corsos, or Cane Corsi, if you prefer Latinized plurals, for their combination of loyalty, intelligence, and protective instincts. This breed's devotion to its family, coupled with its natural guarding abilities, makes it an appealing choice for those seeking a formidable guard dog. However, this is not a dog for novice or timid pet owners. This powerful dog presents some unique challenges. Let's check out the top 5 reasons to not get a Cane Corso. While we may agree or disagree that breed-specific legislation, the reality is that it does exist. Also, your homeowners or renter's insurance may have policies against certain breeds like the Cane Corso and other dogs with reputations as guard dogs. This may not always be the case, depending on where you live, but if you are considering adding a Cane Corso to your home, please research local regulations and insurance policies before adopting one. Just curious, how do you feel about breed-specific legislation? Share your thoughts in the comments. Cane Corsi, like many large breeds, are susceptible to a variety of health issues that potential owners should be aware of. One common concern is hip dysplasia, a genetic condition where the hip joints don't develop properly, leading to pain, discomfort, and mobility issues. Regular monitoring, proper nutrition, and appropriate exercise can help manage this condition, but in severe cases, surgery may be necessary. Bloat, also known as gastric dilation volvulus, is another serious health issue that can affect cane corsos. This condition occurs when the stomach fills with gas and twist, leading to a life-threatening emergency. Rapid ingestion of food, vigorous exercise after eating, or other factors can contribute to bloat. Immediate veterinary intervention is required to save the dog's life, often involving surgery to correct the stomach twisting. Cane corsos may be prone to certain genetic conditions such as cardiomyopathy, heart disease, demodectic mange, and eyelid abnormalities. Responsible breeders perform health screenings on their breeding dogs to minimize the risk of passing on genetic disorders to puppies. However, potential owners should still be prepared for the possibility of encountering these health issues and the associated financial cost of diagnosis, treatment, and ongoing care. Cane Corsi are large, powerful dogs, typically weighing between 90 to 120 pounds and standing around 23 to 28 inches tall at the shoulder. Due to their substantial size and energy levels, Cane Corsos are not well suited for apartment living. They thrive in homes with ample space to move around freely and express their natural behaviors. A fenced yard is highly recommended for Cane Corsos to provide them with a safe and secure environment to exercise and explore. Without proper space to roam and play, they may become bored, restless, and potentially exhibit destructive behaviors. A fenced yard also allows them to burn off excess energy, which can help prevent obesity and promote overall health and well-being. Ideally, the fenced yard should be spacious enough to accommodate the Cane Corso's size and energy levels with enough room for them to run and play freely. Socialization and training are crucial aspects of caring for a Cane Corso due to their innate guarding instincts, intelligence, and size. Proper socialization from a young age helps ensure that your Cane Corso grows up to be a confident, well-mannered, and adaptable companion. Socialization involves exposing the dog to a wide variety of people, animals, environments, and experiences in a positive and controlled manner. This helps prevent fearfulness, aggression, or anxiety towards unfamiliar situations and individuals. Early socialization should begin as soon as the puppy is brought home and continue throughout its life. Training should also include teaching Cane Corso's proper leash manners and impulse control to prevent them from pulling or tugging during walks. Enrolling them in obedience classes or seeking guidance from a professional trainer can also be beneficial for both the dog and the owner. Cane Corsos require more than just space to run. They need regular, vigorous exercise to stay healthy and happy. Daily walks, along with activities like jogging, hiking, or playing fetch, are essential for their physical and mental well-being. Engaging in obedience training, agility, or other canine sports provides additional mental stimulation. 
without enough exercise and mental stimulation, county corsos may become restless and develop behavioral issues. Providing a variety of activities and interactive toys helps keep them engaged and prevents boredom indoors. Overall, consistent exercise and mental stimulation are crucial for Connie Corsos to thrive and maintain a strong bond with their owners. Well, there you have it. The Connie Corso is an amazing dog, but being large, bold, and protective means it's not a dog for everyone. If you're on the fence of whether or not you can fulfill these needs, there are dogs that are much easier to take care of. Hope you've enjoyed this insight into Kane Corsi. Feel free to like and subscribe for more. And as always, I'll catch you next time.